Hey everyone, I just got 2019.40.50, the 2019 Christmas present from Elon. Let's go check it out. Open glove box. <laughs> Very cool. I went into the Bluetooth, there it is. Tap to read. Here's camp mode. You can press uh, the fan and then you get the choices of on dog or camp. And here is uh, Twitch. So it's just like the. And then under arcades, you've got Starview and Backgammon. So let's try out uh, Stardew. And there's uh, Batgammon, so we can play a new game against uh, Welcome to Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate it if you press that little like button. If you're thinking of buying a Tesla, please use my referral code Nicholas4590. Hey everyone, I just got 2019.40.50. The 2019 Christmas present from Elon. Let's go check it out. So here are the release notes. Uh, we have uh, vo new voice commands, phone improvements, camp mode, Tesla theater, Stardew Valley, a game, backgammon, a game, keyboard, tracks, save dash clips on honk, drive profile, new language support. We'll go into each one in detail. So the first new feature is the driving visualization improvements. Uh, it says that the driving visualization can now display additional objects, which include stoplights, stop signs, and selected road markings. The stoplight visualization even shows whether it's a green, yellow, or red light. The stop sign and stoplight visualization are not a substitute for an attentive driver and will not stop the car. So this is not full self-driving yet, but it is allowing us to see what the Tesla can understand and recognize. You need to enable this under autopilot uh, full self-driving visualization preview. This could be the preview that Elon's been talking about. Now this feature is only available for Teslas with hardware three and full self-driving. And the hardware three uh, Tesla chip was only in model S's and X's built since March 20th, 2019 and model threes built since April 12th, 2019. I have to get my Model 3 upgraded. Here's some video from Tesla Raj. The first we see a stop sign being recognized. Then we see some garbage cans being recognized. I don't think any of us thought that would be uh, possible or part of the recognition. Here, uh, coming up to a stop sign with the word stop written on the street, it uh, actually even shows that, showing you even driving underneath it. Next, we come up to a set of lights, and it actually uh, shows you the lights, the same position, and even the color, uh, whether it's green, yellow, or red, and the relative position of the lights. Uh, here we have another stop sign coming up to, uh, and here we're getting into a left lane, the uh, road marking that uh, left turn lane is uh, signified on the visualization. Here we have four red lights and again the relative position and the color uh, of the lights is identified. Here we have a crossing, uh, road, railroad crossing that identifies a railroad crossing on the visualization. Next uh, we have some video of it showing the right turn lane and left turn lane and notice that even when there's four lanes it doesn't, it only identifies the two lanes on either side of the lane that you're driving but it does identify all of the markings. And again, it uh, identifies the red light there. Here we see it identifying some poles in the road and some cones and also bicycle lanes. It identifies a bicycle lane there. 
Here's the next new feature. The voice commands have been rebuilt to understand natural language. Uh, for this initial release, we focused on commands that minimize having to touch the screen so you can keep your eyes on the road. So some examples are like setting the temperature, adjusting your mirrors, opening the glove box, that's pretty cool, um, searching for a podcast, uh, sending a text message, we're gonna see that in a second, very cool, uh, show me the rear camera. Now, the uh, anonymized uh, voice commands are not, the ones that will not be recognized will be captured to further train and improve the system for future software updates. So they'll, uh, they won't keep our voice, but they will keep the commands that we try to uh, ask for. So let's try some of uh, the new voice commands. Uh, we uh, press this button just like before, or you can press uh, this icon to give a command. We'll try, uh, opening the glove box. Open glove box. <laughs> Very cool. Show rear view camera. It's pretty cool. I had trouble with some of the uh, voice commands. Set temperature to 70 degrees. So here's some examples from Tesla Roger. Set the temperature to 66 degrees. Turn off the air. Close the rear camera. No, my God, it's so smart. Next, we have a whole set of phone improvements. Uh, you can now read and respond to text messages using your right scroll wheel button. When a new message is received, press the right scroll wheel button to have your text message read out loud and press again to respond by speaking out loud. That's very nice. You will be also be able to view messages as they come in via the card section of the touch screen, which is the bottom left so, uh, section. To view messages that you've received while your phone is connected via Bluetooth, tap the application launcher, calls messages, and you can read and reply to a message by tapping an entry in the message list. To enable this feature, tap the Bluetooth icon on the top of the display and enable sync messages. Once enabled, you can also choose to play a chime whenever a new text message is received by enabling chime on new messages. Additionally, if you have favorite phone contacts on your device, you can now easily access them from the favorites tab on the phone app. There's a note about uh, enabling notifications on your Bluetooth settings uh, to have this all work, and also that uh, Bluetooth does not support uh, group messaging. So I just asked my wife to message me something. Let's see if it uh, comes through. I went into the Bluetooth. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Tap to read. Telly Pushak, Ice says yes. <laughs> so down here, you'll get little notifications of whether you can tap it. And then I guess you can tap it here. Telly Pushak, to, Ice says yes. You can read it there also. And then tap to reply. I wanted to reply to your message. It's pretty cool. So then you just tap the message to send it. So you have messages now uh, under the phone app. Again, the phone app is under uh, app launcher phone. So app launcher call. You have uh, your messages, uh, favorites, recent contacts, and dialer. So messages and favorites are new. The next new feature is camp mode. Your car can now maintain airflow, temperature, interior lighting, as well as play music and power devices when camp mode is enabled. I think it was only uh, allowing us to maintain temperature before. To enable camp mode, tap the fan icon at the bottom of the touchscreen and set keep climate on to camp mode while your car is in park. Batteries rock. So here's camp mode. You can press uh, the fan and then you get the choices of on dog or camp. Uh, this is uh, climate will stay on after you leave the car will turn off when battery reaches 20%. Uh, camp mode says car will stay on until battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode, security alarm and walk away lock will be disabled. So you basically can stay in the car for a long period of time, whereas uh, this, uh, the, I guess the alarm will go off. 
and then dog mode uh, displays the message about uh, a dog being in the car. Next, we have a new addition to the Tesla Theater. You can now watch Twitch in the Tesla Theater app. To launch Tesla Theater, tap the entertainment icon in the application launcher and select the Theater tab while your car is in park. Note, this is interesting, premium connectivity is required to stream videos and probably music over the cell connection. To subscribe to premium connectivity, please visit your Tesla account online. So there's a lot of confusion about the premium connectivity with the Tesla, but the data usage or connectivity uh, features include live traffic visualization, streaming music and media, uh, the TV, and over-the-air software updates. So with premium connectivity, you get all of these features through Wi-Fi and or the cell connection. But with standard connectivity, you only get some of the features uh, and they're only over Wi-Fi. In addition, you get basic maps and navigation and your music has to come through Bluetooth. Premium connectivity is $9.99 a month unless you got it uh, as part of your package. Cars that were ordered before June 30th, 2018 uh, received free premium connectivity, except for the Model 3s that didn't get the premium interior or the extended range battery. So your uh, Tesla Theta Edition is under uh, Entertainment and under Theater, and here is uh, Twitch. So it's just like the web version of Twitch, mostly for uh, gamers. So they added uh, the Stardew Valley game. Uh, you're inherited your grandfather's old farm plot in Stardew Valley. Armed with one hand-me-down tools and a few coins, you set out to begin your new life. Can you learn to live off the land and turn these outgrown fields into thriving homes? Well, let's check it out. And then under arcades, we've got Starview and Batgammon. So let's try out uh, Stardew Valley. Clean my screen so you can see me real good in the screen. No. Yeah, I guess we'll get some hints. So it looks like you can uh, affect, affect your hair. Accessories. <laughs> Type of pants, all kinds of stuff. Had some trouble starting up the game, so here's some video from uh, Tesla Raja. That is pretty good. Nice little surround sound. Ooh, look at that. It's like a little, like, kind of like a Zelda style. The second game they added is Batgammon. Two players, two sides. One is light one is dark and uh, again you can only uh, play these when your car is in park and there's a uh, batgammon so i can play a new game against uh the tesla so the uh Tesla keyboard now has voice support, so you can now use dictation to input text into your car. Simply tap the microphone icon on the keyboard to import text via voice. It's pretty cool. So let's try the uh, voice keyboard. I think we might be able to use it on the web where we would enter. So I think we can press this, A, B, C, A, B, C. Looks like it worked. So Tesla added the Trax uh, Music Studio, and you can use it to uh, add some instruments, adjust the tempo, and record multiple tracks to create original music right in the car. So the new uh, Trax uh, option is available under here. Let's
pretty cool. <laughs> you now have the option to uh, engage a feature where every time you honk your horn, uh, your uh, dash cam recordings will be saved. That's a nice convenient feature. The uh, driver profiles uh, have been enhanced. Uh, it now saves your uh, volume levels for navigation, uh, voice guidance, and as well as traffic display settings. And last but not least, they added support for the Danish language. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends. My other Model 3 videos are here in the middle. If you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game, and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.